Okay, again, we are going to turn back to the IIB Basics book. So that's this one here, WebSphere Message Broker Basics. Because on page 103, you'll see the bookstore scenario using eSQL, which is really an introduction to eSQL. So let's sort of scroll through this so you can kind of get an idea. I'm not going to read all of this. I'll let you do that on your own. And again, quite a th few things have changed, but then really quite a bit of bit of things have not changed. So essentially your message flow is going to look like this. It'll be a CCA in and a CCA out. There'll be a database. And that's actually exactly what I modeled, which we'll see here in a second. And then you want to basically connect them like the, like it says here. Again, we're going to look at that in just a second. And then we will get into the eSQL editor to see exactly what it's doing. And notice too that that you can download all of the code involved for the eSQL. You don't have to program this. It's just uh, at this point, we're just trying to get things hooked up. So you'll see as we go through all of these details. So let's actually get look at, look at the exact example. So what I'm going to do here, we had previously in the, in the example before that one in the book, we had been working on this eSQL underscore app. And now we're going to work on eSQL bookstore. So again, to create this application, you would click on new and then you would go to actually let's go up here file new and then you would create a new application and then once you're inside the application then you would use this new link to create new files in that application so what i've done is i've gone ahead and in the flow i've created two just like the book says if you go through you will first start with this create customer account flow and this is exactly what we were just uh, what we were just looking at so you can see these components here uh, we have the cca in and we have the cca out and if you look specifically in the in, uh, of course, we had to make that queue. So I went ahead and did that. Uh, in fact, so you can let me make this over here, make it bigger. So you can see we have the CCA in and the CCA out. And that's a, this is really uh, what, it, what it looks like once it's up and going. These are the queues, of course. Right? And uh, if you look at the database, this is the new thing, right? So we have already looked at the in and already looked at the out. It's the database that's new. And in fact, if you double click on the database, then you will see this eSQL that they have been uh, talking about. And eSQL, we should point out, is essentially a way for your, for your broker, i.e. the integration uh, server, to and you're really your application to talk to a database. And in fact, the uh, the details of how that works are, are, are sort of listed here. I mean, you're going to see that the eSQL will start out with this create compute model module, and then it'll, it'll you'll have a name for it, and you'll have this call copy message headers and this call uh, copy entire message. These two dashes in the front simply means it's a comment, and this one has been uncommented, so someone took out the two dashes. And it'll, it'll do exactly what it says. It's going to copy the entire message so that you can have it output uh, in this case here, it'll, it'll output back to um, you, whatever your output node is, right? So in this case, it would be that queue. Okay, but again, the important thing here is database because here you can see all of the code and what it's doing, the eSQL code. Again, eSQL is just a way to get your message flow, your application, to talk to a database. And here is that, uh, here is that, code in this case. And, and this will make sense as you go through the example. Now, what's interesting here is this piece right here, i.custaccountb. Now, why does it say that? Well, the reason is because I have gone ahead and downloaded the resources, the artifacts for this project. So if you go to resources and you go here, you will see that there is a message flow. This is the text so it's going to look like this, and that should be familiar. And it says cust, uh, cust account B. Now the idea here was in the original, this was supposed to be its own database, but because we're just trying to figure out how this works, I've gone ahead and created a new table inside uh, the database that we are already using. And that is, uh, let's take a look at that right now. It is, this is Data Studio, right? So you make your connection to Data Studio here, and that's covered elsewhere. And you will see there's a schema in here called I. And I made this I just for testing purposes. Uh, here we go. So there's the book order table and the customer, uh, the customer account table. Now, where did that come from? Well, that also came from the downloads. So if you go through here, you will see, let's see if we can locate it quickly. You will see 
the SQL that you are that you need. Sorry, let me find it quickly uh, to create it. And, and really, all I did was uh, copy. Yeah, here we go. It's the book store database SQL. And really, all I did uh, was modify this. It's very, very straightforward, actually. I didn't create. Uh, I didn't create a table. Uh, sorry, I didn't uh, create the the database, which is it says up here, right? Create the database, connect to the data. I didn't do any of that. You're welcome to do that if you like. But since we have everything running already, I went ahead and just basically started here with create table, and I essentially just copied and pasted that into uh, Data Studio. But I did an I dot first, so that we could give it the schema name first, and the same thing here, I dot, and and that's why we saw I dot in the previous video. So you're welcome to do that basically again all I did was copy this and then I went into data studio and then I made a new script basically so I mean, there are other ways to do this of course but a quick a quick and easy way is you can click on any existing table and you can do a new select script then delete whatever appears here and then paste in what, whatever you want your code to be right so that's what I did I selected the whole line and I pressed F5 to run that now if I do that here you're going to see we should get an error because of course I already have one but in your case you would create a new one there okay so once we have that we can now go back to our scenario here with our message flow and and again double clicking on that and you'll see that is why we see I dot customer account base we're going to cover these other things in, in a second, but essentially all this is doing is it's going to make a connection to your database, and then it's going to try to do an insert, as it says, into your database, all through messaging here, and fill in these particular, um, these particular items, the f these fields, right, these columns, f first name, user ID, and they will be matched up based on this connection in here. Uh, so in other words, your, your database will have a last name, it'll have the first name, that table, and then your message that's coming through will also have a first name, it'll have a last name, a user ID, and that's really all we're doing. We're just grabbing the message that comes in here, whatever message you give it, and it's going to copy and paste, essentially, all, those informa all that information into this node, and then the node will do the inserting. And then once it's all done, the message will go into the output. Okay, so we're about to try this. Now, before we do that, I wanted to just show you real quickly a proper definition of eSQL. So extended structured query language is a programming language based on structured query language that is typically used to work with databases. eSQL is extended to ex access and manipulate data in messages and databases. You can code eSQL to transform and enrich messages using the compute node. Okay, great. Now, back to the topic at hand, I've got on the left, I've IIB and on the right I have uh, data, uh, data studio right so if I select this I hit F5 we'll see all of the data in the database currently there's nothing in there and of course what I want to do is run this and in order to run it I'm going to go up here to the floor exerciser I've already done that it's running and I'm going now to send a message now which message do we need we want a, spe a particular message a specific one so I'm going to going to go to the file system and then I'm going to find this message here it's under the resources this is the downloadable uh, package you can get online f that comes with the book eSQL create customer account message take a look at its contents we have first name of Peter last name Smith user ID of P Smith and that password if I hit send and send this along you'll see it's sending the message and then sure enough MQ monitor found it and it picked up all those details Peter Smith question is now what happens if I go back to data studio and I hit F5 and you should see now we have inserted that data into the database